Aspirant waiting for my results having appeared in 2021 June CAP 2 examinations. Anyone watching this video most probably already knows what content they are going to encounter while moving forward along this video. But yes, making it formal, I am going to discuss about the CA profession and CA studies under I can board. I have thought of presenting this topic in a question and answer manner which I generally find more engaging for the audience so let's begin first question goes like this uh, what exactly is CA so it's a full form chai, uh, chartered accountant and it is one of the most respectful and challenging career field it is basically one of the options available for higher studies in countries like India and Nepal uh, basically chosen by very few people in comparison to other popular courses and going through a literal definition CA is more importantly a designation provided to the accounting professionals who meet the requirements provided by ICANN Institute of Chartered Accountancy of Nepal board in case of Nepal and uh, likewise ICAI in case of India and this varies as per the nation so here we have another keyword that is ICANN uh, so likewise our next question is what type of board is ICANN ICANN Institute of Chartered Accountancy of Nepal is an autonomous body established under the Nepal Chartered Accountancy Act 1997 for regulating the accounting profession in the country. Maybe it is an autonomous body but we know right no one is above the law so I hope that explains a lot. Uh, in Nepal uh, ICANN is the board for CA studies and CA profession that is it looks after the course plan, examinations, requirements, qualification criteria of CA and summing it up overall production of a specialized accounting professionals designated as CA. Now coming together, CA under ICANN refers to having completed CA course under ICANN board that is under the requirements of ICANN and it also refers to those who have obtained membership of ICANN through separate membership examinations which shall be discussed later. Anyone who completes CA course under ICANN board automatically becomes the member of ICANN having required to pay membership fees at certain regular time intervals. Now our third question goes like this. Uh, what are the eligibility criteria for studying CA course and what syllabus shall we go through? CA course is divided into three phases in Nepal. Uh, it is generally termed as CAP 1, CAP 2 and CAP 3. So let's uh, begin with CAP 1. CAP 1 is the first and basic level of chartered accountancy course. There is no entrance examinations for entry but a student must have got at least 2.4 GPA in aggregate of class 11 and 12 and admissions are available before class 12 results and shall be allowed to give exams if the student meets the aggregate GPA requirement after their respective uh, 12 results. CAP 2. CAP 2 is also called intermediate uh, level and one can study it after passing CAP 1 or having 50% in economics or business administration or management faculty with major subjects being accounts or audit or taxation or minimum 55% in economics or business administration or management faculty with major subjects other than accounts or audit or taxation and uh, at last minimum 60% in other faculties. And here it goes CAP 3. CAP 3, uh, it has only one uh, requirement, one must be CAP 2 passed. Duration to complete CAP 1, CAP 2 and CAP 3 are 3 years, uh, 5 years and unlimited time periods respectively. That is, if you do not pass uh, the respective CAPs within the given time interval, you will have to apply for re-admission and repay the admission amount. Here, uh, CAP 1 includes following subjects. Fundamentals of Accounting, Mercantile Law and Fundamental of Economics, Fundamentals of Management and Commercial Mathematics and Statistics. CAP 2 includes following subjects. Group 1 has uh, 3 papers, Advanced Accounting, Audit and Assurance, Corporate and Other Laws, where, whereas Group 2 has uh, 4 papers, Financial Management, Cost and Management Accounting, Business Communication and Marketing, Income Tax and VAT. Uh, and CAP 3 includes following subjects. 
Cap 3 also has two groups. Group 1 includes four papers, Advanced Financial Reporting, Advanced Financial Management, Advanced Auditing, Corporate Laws. And Group 2 includes four papers respectively. Uh, that is Management Information and Control System, Advanced Taxation, Advanced Cost and Management Accounting, Strategic Management and Decision Making Analysis. Here in case of uh, ICANN, the exams are generally held twice a year that is once in June and once in December and the criteria for being passed is really vast uh, which is uh, uh, which can be kept as a dis topic of discussion for some other days. Now the fourth question goes like this. Does she have a good scope in Nepal? My answer as a direct yes or no shall be yes. The requirement of CA is, in, is still in accelerating phase in Nepal. The major purpose of CA may be auditing but we all know it's not the only purpose of it. The amount, the, mes, the amount of role a CA can play is very vast and the major ones include auditing and assurance service, job in industry, entrepreneurship, latest trend and consultant. These are the most common fields available for CAs but definitely CA is not limited to only these. The quality that CA brings in a person is a most needed one for every company, orgs, entities these days so scope should not be a problem or topic of concern for anyone desiring to study CA. And also what I would say is the ones being potential enough to create opportunities for themselves are always a step ahead than the ones always searching for opportunities. Uh, and with this moving on to fifth question. How, uh, the last one that is is uh, CA really tough so this is the most common question for anyone desiring to study CA right and the answer for this is highly perspective too um, the answer may differ as per the person when you talk about my opinion my perception my frame of reference it shall be it's not the content that is tough nothing shall be there in the content which if you don't study with dedication shall not be understood by you but the thing what makes it tough is the variety and quantity of contents and the interrelations between them one must understand every topic well and be able to have them in mind to present in exams so what matters the most is consistent study that is one must one must dedicate himself or herself completely for ca uh, until one owns the designation so in short what matters the most is how much time you can give to to this course overall ca in nepal has a broad scope and is still in accelerating phase the international scopes are also developing slowly and steadily and currently include the current countries like australia canada and germany etc so if you want to study ca and can study can stay dedicated to your study and be patient then you should definitely go for it but when i say dedication time patience believe me i really mean it so hey we are finally at the end uh, Thank you C Aspirant Page for bringing this sort of program and thank you all of you for hearing me out. The like, comment and share of this video shall be of great help to me and do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.